Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about data type in JavaScript. As you know, data is the most important part for any programming language, right? So once you understand how this data is getting stored, in which format is getting stored, then we can modify the data, we can do some operation, right? So let's get started with data types in JavaScript. So basically we have two categories here. One is primitive and second is non-primitive. So when it comes to primitive, we have different data types, which I will show you in the next slides, which are string, number, boolean, null, undefined, and so on. And the next category is non-primitive, or you can say reference data type. So good thing about JavaScript is almost everything in JavaScript is an object. Okay. So once you move ahead, you will see everything which is not primitive is almost object here. Okay. So once you move ahead, we will have a dedicated session on non-primitive. This session is all about primitive where we will be using string number null undefined and other primitive data types okay so now when it comes to primitive data type in javascript we have string we have numbers we have boolean we have null we have undefined we have big int throughout the series i will be talking about string number boolean null undefined and we will not discuss big int and symbol in this course but in case if you're interested, please go ahead and you can check out these other two data types as well. Okay. And before I move to the actual demo or the actual example, let me also highlight one point here that except null and undefined all primitive data type that you're seeing on the screen, they have a wrapper object. Okay. So once we move ahead, we will be using this wrapper object terms very frequently. So just keep a note, except null and undefined, we have wrapper objects for each and every primitive data type. So let's create a new JavaScript file and let's understand all this data type. So I will create a new JavaScript file and I will give this file name is data type demo or just a data type dot JS. So let's say how to get started. So I will be using let keyword. Okay. And now let me just use one variable called F name and I'm just giving my name in double quotes, which is Mukesh. So this is f name is a variable which is holding value as Mukesh. So if you just want to print, you can just say console.log and you can just give this name call f name. It should ideally print this value. So just write node and just give the file name which is data type.js and you can see the value is Mukesh. But what is the type of this value? If you want to know in runtime, you can just use something called type of operator if we just say console.log and now use this operator called type of and just type f name so now it will also print the type of this variable so as you can see it is giving us a string so anything which is in double quotes single quotes it will consider as a string in a similar way let's say if i just use one variable called marks okay and let me use let's say marks is 98 now, if I want to print this, let's say I will use again console.log and if I say marks and let's also print the type of. So we can do one thing. Let's print the first type of then we will print the actual value. So I will say type of marks and let's see. So you can see this is the number and marks is 98. So it's not only the integer value you can have any floating value as well so let's say if i just give 98.5 you can see we'll still get the value as number so you can give negative values as well okay there's no issue so if you are coming from different programming language like java where we have byte short int long float double here everything is a number we also have big int but that we will see in some other lecture now if you talk about another type we also have a data type called boolean okay so let's say if i just use something called true so now this status is a boolean type if you just want to know just copy this and let's print so i will say type of status i want to know the type of the status variable so which will return you boolean and finally i want to print something called status which should give me the value so as you can see it's a boolean and the value is true in a similar fashion, it can also hold false. And again, it's a boolean. Now, 
in JavaScript, when you have some variables, okay, so let's say if I'm using one variable called lname, okay, and now the moment I will try to print this, I will say console.log and I will just say lname. Let's see what it returns. The moment I run, you can see I will get something called undefined. We will not be getting null here. Null has a different use case. Whenever you have variable, when you don't have any value, it will give you undefined. And if you want to see the type of, let's use it again, log, which is console.log basically, type of lname, which is again undefined. So undefined is a data type and the value which is printing basically it's undefined. Fine. And in a similar fashion, if I just use something called my address and if I just assign null, now you will see a very interesting thing here. The moment I say console.log, obviously it will print null. Okay, as you can see, but the moment I use type of operator, you will see a weird behavior. Just type type of just type address. So I just want to know the type of address and you will see something very different that it is giving you object. Okay, now I've gone through a couple of blogs, YouTube videos and a lot of posts and I got to know there's a bug in JavaScript, even though it's a primitive data type it will always present you know, object, which is sometimes confusing and frustrated for a lot of developers. But officially they have declared there was an initial bug in JavaScript because of that it is showing object, but it's a primitive data type. So keep this point in mind. So JavaScript is a dynamic typing language. What it means when you declare a variable, you don't need to specify what type of variable it is. Okay, so if you're coming from Java background, you must have seen we write integer x equal to 10, double b equal to some value or boolean c equal to some value, right? Where we define what kind of variable it is. But it's a dynamic type in language where you don't need to specify the data type. JavaScript in general automatically identify what kind of variable it is depends on what value you're assigning. For example, if I say let x equal to 10, it will consider this as a number. But if I say x equal to true, it will consider this as a boolean. If I say x equal to Mukesh, it will consider as string. In a similar fashion, if I say x equal to, let's say undefined, it will consider this as undefined and similar goes for null as well. So let me quickly print these values. So what I will do, I will just say console.log And let me just print this X and I will just print after every assignment. Okay. And let me also assign X equal to null and let me print this again console.log X. Let me just also write console.log type of X and I will just quickly add before printing and same goes here now let's type node and let's give the file name which is data type.js and you can see initially if you just scroll this up yeah yeah number 10 then we are assigning x equal to true so it became boolean as you can see the value then we assigned mukesh so it will become um, it is converting into string and values Mukesh in the same way undefined and as we have seen for null it always give you object so don't get confused with that so these are the different data types we have now let me also show you one more non-primitive we will have a detailed session on this but let's say I want to define one object here okay so this object I will say person object and when it comes to object, you just need to write curly braces. Okay. Now just do one thing, use console.log and let's print this person and just also write type of person. I just want to know what exactly the type of this person variable. 
So as you can see, this is an object and right now we don't have anything in the object. So it's coming completely blank. Let me use or let me use some properties and value. So I'm giving one property, let's say first name. In my case, it is Mukesh. Then give comma and I'm assigning one more value called last name, which is nothing but a separate property. And I will assign a value called Otwani. Now let me just run this once again. You will see this is an object type of person which is object and it is giving me the complete value of that particular object. Now let me take one more example. Okay, so I will say let and I will say this is marks or let's say this is student marks equal to I'm just creating one array. Okay, let me give some random values. If you just want to know, I will just use this console.log. First of all, I will print what is the type of this student marks. Then I will also print this. You will notice it is also an object. You can see this is object because we are typing type of which is an operator. Then we are printing a student marks which is one, two, three. So everything which is not primitive in JavaScript is an object. So you will get used to this slowly. If you're coming from Java background, then we know that you cannot create object without a class, but that's not the case with JavaScript. You'll get used to this slowly once you move ahead. So this is non-primitive and this is also non-primitive and all these are primitive. So in the upcoming lectures, we will talk about operators because right now we just, you know, declared and we have assigned some values in the coming lectures. We will see some very important concepts. That's all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this session. In case if you're new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe this channel, share with your colleagues, friends. And if you face any issue, please let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.